Hey there, YouTube. Coach Don coming back at you. Yes, with a new video for the channel, Breaks and Stuff. Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday, May the 12th. I cannot believe I'm saying that. May the 12th, 2020. Um, wherever you may be uh, in this crazy world we live in now. But I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to, uh, to kind of get back to my roots. Um, as always, guys, um, you know, I haven't said this in a while. Um, but you know, you know, I, I appreciate everyone that's, uh, still, uh, subscribed to the channel, um, part of the breaks family. Um, you know, it's been, um, it's been a crazy, crazy, uh, four or five months of my life. I'm sure you guys have all had, uh, things going on in your life as well that, um, that definitely put challenges. Uh, hopefully you're able to overcome them like I am overcoming my challenges, but any rate, um, but I'm excited to make a, a new video. Um, and again, uh, if you haven't already subscribed and you're new to the channel, um, you know, please hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, like the video. Uh, please leave a comment. Um, and um, and again, enjoy the contents. Uh, but again, it's been a crazy four or five months in my life. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that, to be honest, since I was actually back alive. But but the channel is still functioning. It's still um, it's still there. Um, I, I do have content planned, um, you know, and uh, I, I'm excited. I'm actually pretty giddy um, uh, to make this video because you know what? It, it This video right now, the setup I'm using, this goes back to my roots. If you guys have been with me since the beginning, go back and look at my videos from the very beginning. And, uh, you know, you, we haven't seen Sparky in quite a while. He's back. Um, I wanted to go back to my roots. I wanted to... Um, go back to where I started out with this channel. Um, you know, I'm sure I, I'm going to have live. I'm going to have all that, you know, those, those type of, uh, posts and videos coming up soon as well. But I wanted to make a quick video tonight. I, I wanted to have some fun. I wanted to do some cheap fun. You know, when I, when you think back to the videos, when I first started this channel, when I had zero subscribers, I remember when I had 19 subscribers, I remember, I mean, remember milestones that I hit with this channel, though it grew really quick. I remember hitting milestones and videos that I made with those milestones and, and, you know, whether it be my, you know, my 50th or my 100th or my 250th, I mean, whatever it is, that's pretty crazy. But I remember the videos I, and if you were here since the beginning or even towards the beginning, the videos I used to make, I used to make uh, on cheap, inexpensive boxes of cards, um, you know, that, that I had fun with, you know, that I could talk about the players, I could talk about looking for a certain chase card. Um, you know, I, so I wanted to do that. I wanted to kind of, kind of get back into the, the motion of things. Uh, I wanted to put some content out for you guys, let you know that I'm not, um, going away. Um, you know, this channel will, will survive, uh, through all the, uh, personal hardships I'm going through. Um, but, uh, it will survive. But again, I wanted to go back to my roots, uh, pull out Sparky, get back, get that mojo back. And again, I'm, I was, I'm very giddy about this. I'm very excited about to make this video. Um, been thinking for, about it for a while when I wanted to, to do it. Um, but again, uh, this is hopefully getting back into my flow and getting, getting back into, you know, uh, the content that you guys enjoyed the breaks, um, the good rips, you know, I think back to all the rips we had together and, um, all the cards we pulled and, and all the fun we did. And now some of those cards, if you think back to it, you look at some of those cards, you know, like the 90 flare boxes I ripped open and, like Funkin' and all those guys that pulled all those Jordans. Those Jordans are going up in value. It's crazy. And I knew it. We knew it together. We knew it together that those cards would go up. And uh, it's crazy. Uh, I, I am sad that I wasn't able to get any 89 upper deck. Uh, I know there's other people that have done it. But I really wanted to get at least a couple boxes of 89. Maybe I will in the future, but but the, the, the prices are just so astronomical now in those boxes. I mean, you can't get a low a low series uh, for under $400. It's crazy. But anyway, not to go into all that. But again, I wanted to do, a, a, again, a quick video. I wanted to do some inexpensive fun. I'm, go I'm going to be, now this may be a box that n a lot of people don't enjoy, probably hate the cards. And I think that a few other uh, larger channels have posted, uh, this is one of their top one or two uh, years and card brands that they disliked. I actually like them. I mean, I actually enjoy the cards. 
Uh, the color I don't like, but I, I actually like the cards. There's actually a couple cool things in this, these, these boxes as well. One in particular is actually a Griffey Air card. Um, it doesn't have a whole bunch of value, but it has more value than the base card by probably five or ten times, depending on how it's graded. But there's a Griffey in here Air card, and I hope we find a few of them, um, you know, because I think it'd be cool. Again, just to have some fun, but... Without further ado, again, I thank you guys for popping in and watching the video. Again, like, comment, share, um, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, let's get it going. So I'm going to be ripping into a box of 91 Flare. Okay, 91 Flare Baseball. Yes, it's the yellow cards. Yes, you probably are going to need some sunglasses for this one. Um, but you know what? It, it's a fun box. It's the cello packs, so... We have a higher likelihood of uh, knocking that that Griffey air, and I'll go over that what that air is in a second. But a bigger pack, um, you know, I think they're what 30, 30 cards per pack. Sorry, my lighting is not the greatest, but at any rate, um, thirty cards per pack. Um, their all star cards are in here, so that's cool. Maybe we can get the Griffey all star. That's probably the best card in the all star insert set. So you get the inserts, which is cool. But again, the Griffey air. Uh, again, if we get it, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, but we are looking for the Griffey card. Um, there's two variations. There's a, obviously um, uh, an error variation and a corrected variation of the Griffey. Um, so we'll look at that in a second. So without further ado, guys, I, I'm really excited, man. I'm, I'm pretty pumped to get back going. Um, you know, maybe my kids and my wife are not, but uh, but I am. I'm excited to kind of get uh, turn the page. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of things. I'm My brain is telling me a lot of things I want to do. I want to get back to live streaming, and that'll be soon. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get some good stuff ready for that, but anywho, okay, without further ado, let's get ripping, man. Um, again, 91 Fleer Cellos, um, looking for all-stars, looking for the Griffey, um, Griffey Air card. So let's get cracking. If you guys want to comment in the, in the comments uh, about these cards, and if you like them, dislike them, if you hate them, if you don't ever want to see them again, I mean, I'm okay with that, but, um, but again, we're looking for that Griffey Air, so let me see if I can get comfortable here. I'm kind of in a awkward situation so again sticker cards i'm not going to go through all these super 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 so slow i'm going to kind of go through them i'll just pull some of the some of the names out there we're, again we're looking for griffey any any hall of famers uh we will um we'll pull as well but again, we're looking for eddie murray we're looking for just there's one griffey right there all right first pack guys all right so let's talk about what that air is so what we're looking for okay if you guys aren't familiar with this card there's two variations, okay? There's one variation that says uh, bats ar around 300, and the other one bats bats 300, okay? So we're looking for the error variation. And the error variation of this card, it actually says around 300. So batting, like a batting average, 300. And let's see if we got the error variation or we got the corrected variation. So let me see if I can zoom in there. Let's take a look. And you can see right away, we already got one of the errors. Yeah, baby. Already one for one, one pack, as you can see right there, around 300. So this is the air variation, okay? They did correct the card, the corrected, or I should say there's two variations, okay? The, the, the card that has the more value is this one. So he batted around 300. It doesn't, this, this doesn't sound right. But he either bats 300 or he bats around. But again, um, but this is the, the card. And as you can see too, right here, if you can see, let me get a little closer here. You can see that 1990 Mariners stats, he ha he did bat exactly 300. So you can see kind of where the error variation comes in play. So he did bat 300 according to their stats right there. And if you look right there in the actual, you know, I guess the paragraph behind it, it says around 300. So you can see where the variation. So we already scored the error variation and we are one pack in. So awesome, man. I'm pretty stoked already. So let's keep going. See how many we can find. This might be an air variation box, which it very well could be. There's George Brett. So that's one pack down. So, again, I hope you guys are all doing well, man. Hope your families are well. You know, I do – I have been popping around uh, to the channels and and, uh, and trying to, to support everybody as well as much as I can, um, you know, throughout my, you know, my personal stuff. But, um, but I hope you guys are all doing well. Ryan Sandberg, uh, again, through all the pandemic and everything else – going on in this crazy world we live in now so i mean cards are always um something we can always go back to and and kind of use as a tony gwen rest in peace um kind of use as a uh, as a crutch you know um to kind of to kind of get back to reality so but at any rate i'll keep going 
pack number three. Let's see how many we can pull, how many Griffies we can get out of here. So, Gary Carter. I mean, if I'm sk skipping certain players, I get I get I get comments every so often on my videos that I skipped a certain player. Mike Schooler, huh? That's an interesting name. Um, I apologize. There really isn't a lot of. Luis Gonzalez is probably one one of the only top rookies. I think there's a few, uh, there's a few more, but notable. I guess you want to say notable rookies, but Luis Gonzalez is one of the uh, one of the few rookies in this this year. makes makes this this uh, this year this at least this Fleer year ninety one um, not very desirable as well because there really wasn't a lot of a lot of rookies in this as well. So hopefully we can score an all star or two in this box. I think they usually come about one every four packs. I mean, I stick at the Griffey as well, but there's Sandberg. Sorry if I'm going really fast. I just don't want to make this video super long. Jose Uribe, not the uh, 1990 Flair card that uh, was so highly publicized and uh, ended up being, and our Tony Gwynn, ended up being a, a, a hot mess. So keep on going here. Back five. Oh, there's the Bravos right there. These stickers, of course, don't stick still. Chuck Malone, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Uh, a nice card. Dawson and Sandberg. There's Dawson right behind him. Randy Reddy, huh? Gary Carter. Good old Bobby Bow. No, I'm not going to be putting this set together. Just so if you have, if you guys are thinking about that, I have a couple of these already, and I don't want any more to be honest. But, but it was again an inexpensive box that I picked up that um, I thought again that would be fun to to rip into. Maybe I don't have the Griffey All Star. I have the rest of the set. I just don't have the Griffey. So it'd be nice to pull that pull that Griffey All Star card. And, that, and, it, and they do the the, the All Star cards looks actually look pretty nice. There's Mr. Randy Johnson. Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball, get him, get him into the Hall of Fame, please. Six packs in, we are one Griffey in, so let's let's see if we can actually get the other variation too. Now I don't think we will. Um, I've opened enough of these packs. Uh, there we got an All Star coming up too. Um, I don't believe this box is going to have um, the actual uh, corrected version, uh, the one that says uh, bats three hundred. Because usually when they're, you know, got anything, these older, these older set boxes or these pack boxes, they typically have the air variation throughout the entire box. And I actually bought these boxes in a lot and I didn't pay very much. I think I paid like maybe seven fifty dollars a box on average um, for these cello boxes. So I have quite a few. Um, so, you know, they're probably all going to be the same. They were, they, I didn't see them pulled from the case, but my, uh, I would, ooh, that's nice, Barry Bonds. I forgot he's in the set, too. That's actually not too bad. Barry Bonds All-Star. See, these are actually pretty cool-looking cards. I actually really like those All-Star cards. Didn't, don't hold a lot of value, but Mr. Ripken, nice. But um, what I was saying, though, is it's just more than likely. There we go. The Wizard, Ozzy, Mark McGuire. It's actually a pretty good pack. Um, so it's probably going to have quite a bit of error, very, or errors in it uh, versus the actual corrected. So I actually do have a corrected card. I just don't know where it's at. I've got a few, I think, so... Anywho, let's keep on trucking. So, again, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, not probably the cards, but hopefully you're enjoying the, the search for an air, um, you know, because these air cards are becoming um, harder and harder to come by. And I think that um, eventually this might actually have some value, um, like every other Griffey, but maybe a little more value than it does now. So, And actually, if you get that graded in a 10, they, those actually are, are pretty decent in value. Um, now, am I going to get it graded? Probably not. Um, I'm not going to spend the $15 on that card. I, I, the centering's not great on that card as well. So, again, I'm not going to get it uh, get it graded. But if I did find one that was very centered, and maybe, maybe, maybe I would do it because I think they do. Um, can, they can uh, touch um, three figures as far as a graded mint ten. So PSA. All right, Dave Winfield. All right, we're already seven packs in, eight packs in. We've only got one Griffey. There's, that's a cool Griffey too. That's probably one of my favorite cards in this set right there, the Griffey Bonds. And actually, that actually has a little bit of value. Now, again, in comparison, the set as a whole doesn't have a lot of value, but cards like that actually do have a little bit of value. 
All right, let me go here. Actually, we think we have another all-star coming up. Come on, let's get the Griffey all-star. That would be awesome. There's Mr. Sabo, Mr. Glasses, Mr. Bat Corker. Uh, Benito Santiago, huh? Second time I pulled him. I pulled him in a couple boxes. Actually, multiple boxes. So so the Bonds is definitely the, uh, the better so far on those two. Sam Horn, Carlton Fisk. Okay, nothing there. And there's something there's something about cello packs I really enjoy that and rack packs those are probably my two favorite packs growing up you know even as an adult I really really enjoy uh, wax packs you can't go wrong with the wax but I always I really enjoy um, opening cello packs and rack packs it's just something about those caminiti really enjoy Ron Gant. Mr. Sosa, Greg Jeffries, he was a hot mess. Major bust. <clears throat> We're about halfway through the box. I think this, this box has a total of 24 packs. Again, 30 cards a pack, so you're gonna get you're getting a lot of cards. I mean, what is that? Uh, 24 times 30, if I'm doing my math in my head, is so plus 600 plus cards, so plus a ton of stickers. I use the stickers as placeholders, so or when I send packages out, that cut's got a little bit discoloring. That discoloring, um, but I use them to. Um, I use them when I send packages out. I'll throw certain teams in there. I mean, Larry Walker, what an awesome player, man! Two second year Larry Walker, but um, Pomalo. but um, yeah, I usually um, put those in there with the packages, but. <clears throat> Other than that, man, this is all I'm doing, man. But again, I have I have some other cheap boxes I want to make some videos on too that I think are cool. I have another '90s upper deck box. There's a Griffey. There's a couple of Griffey variation errors in that one as well that are uh, very inexpensive to to, to rip for. Um, not really a lot of value again, but Mr. Baines. But um, enough value where you it's fun to open one of those boxes, and you can get those boxes typically. That might be Vaughn's rookie right there, Greg Vaughn. Um, but you can get those, Fred McGriff. You can get those boxes for under 10 bucks usually, 90 upper deck. And that's actually a really nice nice set as well. All right, halfway through. Halfway through, we got one Griffey, a couple All-Stars. We got the Griffey Bonds card. Let's see if we can get another one. I wonder. I don't, I don't know how many Griffeys on average come in this, these boxes, um, but I can only imagine it's probably two or three per Per box i mean you're getting 30 what 36 cards a pack you think 600 plus cards you think they would mr bo jackson would get you'd get a lot more you get a lot more griffey so john smoltz It's funny, I was listing a card of John Smoltz on my, my eBay account. And uh, Tino Martinez. I, um, Berto Alomar. And I was typing in uh, Juan Gonzalez, second year, Maddox. I was typing in uh, John Smoltz in the Kirby Puckett, rest in peace, and Del Murphy, get him in the hall. Um, I was typing in John Smoltz, you know, trying to get it auto-filled. And it didn't even recognize John Smoltz. I'm like, how do you not recognize? Because you obviously type in a player's name when you're adding the listing. I mean, it pulls up Griffey, and of course it pulls up Thomas and all the big, big players. But it, for some reason, didn't pull up Smoltz. I'm like, how do you not pull up John Smoltz? Hall of Fame pitcher. It's not like he was a, it was a, a questionable Hall of Fame. You know, there's Nolan Ryan. Nice. But um, but it was crazy how I didn't pull it up. Some of these cards, you can tell how they're discolored, but... Mr. Wade Boggs, Rob Dibble, Steve Sachs. Well, we only have nine packs left, folks, and we are um, only one Griffey in. I was hoping to get at least two or three Griffeys out of this box. Um, I still have two All-Stars, I believe. They might be one in eight packs. I'm not sure. So we might have one more. Yeah, we got one coming up right now. Come on, let's get the Griffey. Let's hit the Griffey. Otis Nixon, the speedster for the Braves. 
Yes, we did it. There we go. Nice. This is actually panning out to be a nice, really nice box. I really like these cards, man. I, I think this is one of the, the one wins of this set for sure. I really, really do like these cards. Now, do I like them because maybe because it's such a a, a strong, uh, a huge contrast against the yellow? I mean, you got this 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 these all star cards, and you were like, "Wow, sweet! What is that?" And because they were just so different, they were so different looking than um, than these yellow cards. So maybe that's why I like them so much. Greg Vaughn again, McGriff again, Todd Hunley, Mark Davidson. Okay, oops. All right, so we got the Griffey. That was a win for us. We got one of the Griffey uh, air variation cards, or the air variation. Cool. So we got to, we're, we're batting uh, we're batting pretty good right now. Let's see if we can uh, finish it off. Uh, Thomas is not an all star in this set. I don't know why why he didn't hit the all star. Um, clearly, his rookie was maybe because his rookie was ninety, but I thought he would maybe get hit the all star set. Another Nolan Ryan. That's nice. Um, but Griffey Bonds um, Boggs. I don't remember who else is in that all-star set. But you can see some some duplication of these cards, these packs. So. <clears throat> so, But again, I'm stoked. I got Griffey and Bond, so I got two of the big cards in the all-star. Again, not a lot of value, but to me, they're cool. Um, got one of the error variations. We got one of the Griffey Bonds cards. So far, we're doing good. And we're getting close on time. I want to keep this under 25 minutes. So I'm going to kind of truck through the rest of these. Dennis Eckersley, Dave Stewart, Gary Sheffield, Sheffield's third year, Kurt Gibson. Six to go, man, six to go. Let's see if we can get one more Griffey. Let's see if we can get a nice, nice, clean, as BITG says, clean Griffey. So we can rip one of those. Looks like we have another. Oh, we have two All-Stars. <laughs> Look at that, man. Look at that. Again, I believe they're at one in eight packs, so we are three right now. So we're gonna end up getting five. I'm telling you, man, it's it's the mojo. It's it's getting back in the mojo, going back in the day, man. Doing what I did at the beginning. Started this channel with these. And there's Craig Biggio. Um, let's see if we can get another Griffey, huh? Cecil Fielder, not too bad. I will take that. Cecil Fielder. So now we got four, and what was what? What's our other one gonna be? Nice, Ryan Sandberg. But it is it is damaged, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. You can see right up in that left corner, it's got kind of quite a bit of damage. So maybe that's why they put an extra one in there because <laughs> it's got the big old ding in it. But hey, I'll take it, man. Somebody will enjoy that card. Somebody down the, in the future, whether it's a Cubs fan or a Ryan Sandberg fan, I'll throw that in their package for them. But uh, definitely have some substantial damage on that corner. So, okay. So I don't think we're going to get any more All-Stars, Caminiti. Maybe we'll get one more Griffey. Come on, baby. Where's that Griffey sitting at? Sosa again. No, I don't think we're going to see one. Yeah, this is a duplicate duplicate pack again. Th what, three to go? Four to go? Four more packs to go. And these these Cello, man. The one thing about the Cellos, too, um, is you got to be careful because you can really damage a corner, these packs, because there's... Just, they're so hard to open. Stickers. All right, Kirk Gibson. Let's see. Gary Sheffield. Eckersley again. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of similar packs here, Sabo, but we're not seeing any Griffey. I think that Griffey was towards the top of the pack too, so three to go. Three more to go. But again, if I, if I walk away with this box for what I paid for it, I mean, I probably got my value out of it. Definitely got my value out of it. You know, even if even if there's just a bunch of fluff, these cards are just pretty much valueless cards. I mean, getting the Griffey All-Star I needed for my set, that's a win. Getting the Griffey uh, Air, that's a win for me. That's so, I'm stoked. This is a win, you know. Mr. Molitor. Uh, let's see. Lee Smith. Strawberry. Kurt Schilling. Should be a Hall of Famer as well. All right, two to go, two to go. If you guys are biting at the bit and you want to get into a group break on these, hey, I'm more than happy. I got plenty of boxes, man. And I won't. And I, it'll be a cheap, cheap buy-in. So if you guys want to have some fun, you know how I do it. 
I don't just rip open boxes. I'll make it fun. I'll have some I'll have to bring back the wheel of death. Have a cheap break. We'll look at, we'll look for some some griffies. Again, that's if you're if I got enough interest. I'm not going to force these yellow cards on anybody. Last pack. Last pack mojo. So we had the griffy in the first pack. Are we going to get a griffy in the last pack? That would be awesome. That would be a good way to end the video in the in the in the box. No all-star, so we're not going to get another all-star, which is okay because we did get five, so I'm okay with that. So let's take a look. Let's see if we can get one more. Ooh, we got a Frank. That's our first Frank, too, which is kind of unusual. Usually we'll get more than one Frank Thomas, too. So this box has kind of been an unusual one. And again, I haven't opened a ton of these, but I have opened enough where I don't think I've ever not just – not. Well, I've never pulled more than – two but i've always always seemed like I always, it always ended up being two griffies and two franks so we did get one frank the very last pack um probably one of my one of my favorite franks from 91 as well i, I just like that card i like the stance again the yellow border but that's another story but i always thought that was kind of a cool card kind of an iconic that in the tops were my two of my favorites so any rate so i did get quite a bit of a quite a stack of uh hot with famers and all that good stuff. Well, I'll put those in my uh, put those in my, my five thousand count box for later. We did get a Griffey Bond, which is a cool card. I always like that card. Actually, pretty decent call, decent shape. We did get uh, five All Star cards, not four, but five. We got we got lucky. We got uh, we got a got a fourth one or a fifth one, I should say. So, I believe I believe these are one in either one in. Well, it makes sense. If I got five, it's not five was an error. Five was, five was not going to happen. So if I got four and there's 24 packs, so you're looking at one in six packs, okay? So I did th get the Griffey. Um, let's see real quick one more time. The Griffey All-Star. We get the Bonds, which is cool. Two of the best cards. Benito, I've got a few of those. Not too bad. We got the Cecil Fielder. Cool card as well. And then we got the Sandberg, which, again, I didn't need, but you can see quite a bit of a ding in that one. And the finale, we did get one Griffey Air card. Um... It is a little off-centered, a little bit heavy on the right, um, but it is the Griffey Air. It is the around 300 variation. So, again, if I was to market this on eBay, I, I could probably get four or five bucks for it. That's about what they're going for in a raw version. You get them graded um, a PSA 9 or above, I mean, you might, you might uh, be able to get maybe 50 bucks for it i don't i don't know i mean that's probably what, I, what they're going for so but anyway i'm not going to get it graded uh again guys uh thanks for watching um again bringing uh bringing some nostalgia back to the channel ripping open a cheap inexpensive box uh kind of back in my old my old stomping ground my own settings um again i'm excited uh, i'll get this video posted i will have more to come soon um again like subscribe comment share all of the above. Uh, I will see you guys very soon and uh, take care of yourselves.